You ever look at a picture and you're like, man, that looks really sad. And it really relates to you on like an emotional level. Well, in today's video, we're checking out emotional things that will make you cry. It's sort of like a do not cry challenge. So try not to cry. Starting off, we got one all about love. As you guys can see in the first picture, the guy came up to her. Then in the second picture, he got down on one knee and proposed. And oh my goodness, she was flooded with emotions and super excited. I've been there. And, I, you know, it's really hard for me not to cry when looking at this picture because, trust me, those are emotional moments. But number two, we got Lucas. Now, Lucas is just loving his dog. Now, this is his service dog, all about Juno. So this is Juno hugging Lucas, and this is how the service dog shows love. You know, dogs are like the most loving animal in the world. And, and a dog really is a human's, uh, like a man's best friend. Like, it really is. Like... It's crazy how much dogs love people. And there's so many bad people in the world that just hate dogs. I don't know how you can hate a dog. They're so nice. Well, most of them. This picture just looks sad because this guy looks like he just lost everything. And in fact, he did lose everything to an earthquake that destroyed his house in China. Now, once he went back to where his house was, he found a photo album perfectly intact and it just broke him. Imagine, you go back to where your house was, it's no longer there, but there is a photo album that reminds you of all the good memories you had. Speaking of making good memories, this kid has possibly just made the coolest memory ever. This photo is the kid actually playing basketball, but if you look closely, he's not really able to play basketball because he has muscular dystrophy, which does not allow him to use his muscles. His muscles don't work pretty much. And what's cool about this photo is it looks like he's playing basketball because he's actually laying down. But the photographer made it so that he could actually have a memory to look back at like, wow, it looks like I'm playing basketball. That is so cool. And it's something he's always wanted to do and probably dreamed of since he was a kid. So. This is a pretty cool photo, I'm not gonna lie. Plus, it looks like he made the shot, so it's always a bonus that way. Imagine training your entire life for one race, and you're so excited for this race, and you do the race, and next thing you know, you absolutely collapse at the finish line. And in doing so, you lose the race because of it. And that's exactly what happened to Arden McMath, a competitive runner. Now, she, for whatever reason, fell and just collapsed while running, but a competitor, someone on another team, a part of another school, Megan Vogel, decided to save the day and help her cross the finish line. That is good sportsmanship. And honestly, is way better than winning the race because you can always say, I helped someone else win. That's pretty cool. Earlier, I told you guys about dogs being men's best friend. And look, dudes, if this doesn't prove to you that dogs love people, this dog would not leave its owner's side, even though he was in a casket. The dog knew that he was in there. And he just, look how sad the dog looks. That is so sad. There's the Navy SEAL master in there. This dog was a part of the armed forces, and his, the dog's name is Hawkeye, did not want to leave the bedside. Well, I guess the side of the casket, which is so sad, dudes. So sad. Speaking of sad, but happiness, this is when a soldier returned from war or home from long deployment and hugged his baby girl for the first time. That must be such a rewarding and fulfilling like feeling like finally, like I was gone for so long and now I'm here. You can just see the pain in his face. Like I'm so happy to be home, but like, man, that's like such a good feeling for him. I'm sure because he was gone for probably months and months and months, 12 months, probably. This guy right here is Arnolfo Castaneda, who won a gold medal for swimming in the Paralympic. So he's a paraplegic. As you can see, he's missing an arm and it looks like two legs. And that's incredibly sad. What's awesome about this photo is that he won a gold medal in swimming. There's people that have all their arms and all their legs and they can't swim to save their life. This guy only has one arm and he won a gold medal for it. That's awesome. Speaking of swimming, this old dog's loving owner cradled him in the water to help his friend's arthritis pain. So if you guys didn't know, when dogs swim and they're older, it helps with their arthritis. So if they have pains and joints and ligaments and all that, they're, they're, they're struggling to walk around. If you put them in a pool and you help them like float, they love that. They love just laying there and being able to just ease the pain of just not having to walk and have all the pressure on their body. So that's what this owner is doing, helping his old friend. Speaking of old friends, this old couple, 
taught his girlfriend the alphabet again after she lost her memory. That's crazy. Imagine losing your memory where you forget how to do the alphabet. That would be insane. I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, holy. That is so crazy to me. I, I would be like, uh, how do you even know what to do? Losing your memory is rough, but imagine being a little boy losing your father who dies in Iraq. You know, every single day people die in the world. And a lot of times those people have families that stay behind while they go off and they're no longer in this world. And it's pictures like this that are super memorable because this little boy lost his dad. And that is so incredibly sad because this little eight year old will never see his dad again who died in Iraq. That sucks. Speaking of little kids, these are homeless children in India where teachers are giving them lessons on the wall. That's right, this isn't a school. These are homeless kids that don't have mothers and fathers that are just out in the streets of India that don't go to school, but these teachers took time out of their day to help them. They are, it looks like underneath a freeway. So that is so sad. Sometimes in life we take for granted what we have, and these kids don't have anything. They have to learn in school underneath the freeway. And many of you guys complain about being in schools with nice chairs and computers. And I appreciate the little things, guys. Speaking of little things, this guy did something that wasn't so little. This husband went out searching for his wife's kidney. I know, that sounds weird. But his wife was dying. She was having kidney problems and her kidneys were failing. The only way to save her life is to get a brand new kidney. But the problem was she was too old for someone to receive a donation of someone's kidney on like a donor list because, well, it normally charts off with young people. They normally get preference. And because she was so old, she was pretty much marked for death. And it's sad. So this guy took the streets. He started walking around all around his local neighborhood and highways to look for someone that would be willing to donate a kidney. That's insane. But also, that's a sign of true love. This is a picture of a little boy meeting his first best friend. As you can see, this little boy looks like he's the happiest boy in the world. And just like the last photo, the man loved his wife with every fiber of his existence. This little boy loved this little boy, the little dog, with every fiber of his existence. Until the day ultimately came that he had to say goodbye to his best friend. I think we've all been there where we've lost a loved one or some kind of animal in our life, and it's never easy to say goodbye. Literally, it sucks. Trust me. This is incredibly sad. As you guys know, she wishes she had hair. She's a cancer patient, and she lost her hair due to chemo, so she asked for a marker and decided to draw herself some hair on a mirror. So whenever she looks at herself, she has hair. That is like super cute and super sad at the same time. Speaking of super cute, this guy, Nick, was born with no limbs, no arms and no legs. And you know, life as a little boy is hard enough. Growing up in this crazy world, it's pretty hard. Imagine doing that with no legs and no arms. But Nick found a way. As he grew up, you see him being happy. The guy is having the times of his life. And of course, even pictures of him going on a surfboard. How do you go surfing with no arms and no legs? That sounds really hard to do, right? But he found a way. Not only did he find a way, but Nick also found a way to find love. And like every story, it's all beautiful. And he found love and he's swimming on the beach. It's just awesome. This is a true story that everyone out there can find someone to love them no matter how they are, how they look, or any circumstance you may try to use an excuse. Anything's possible if you make it possible. Speaking of true love, as you guys can see, this loving young couple, they were together for quite some time and love truly does conquer all. If you love someone enough, you will do everything you can in your power to make things work. And if you don't, you'll give up. And as you guys can see, this guy got deployed to the United States Navy. And as a Navy man, he ended up going to deployment into different battlegrounds. And clearly he is in 2012, most likely in Iraq. But unfortunately in Iraq, some unfortunate circumstances came upon him where he was then hospitalized. And in doing so, his wife was right by his side or his girlfriend actually, I believe at the time. She was there with him every step of the way. Not only was she there with him every step of the way, but she also helped him through rehab to get back into being alive. He ends up surviving and working with her 
to get back on his feet. But as you guys can see, he doesn't have arms or legs. He lost it. All four. Every arm and every leg gone due to the unfortunate circumstance of deployment. And then they end up falling in love even deeper and getting married. So love truly can conquer all. And as you guys can see, they made it work. So if you're struggling out there in your relationship, if they can do it with all the circumstances they had to go through, you can too. Speaking of love, tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever, ever, ever seen. 63 years later, this couple is still together. The black and white version, you can see the young selves, them getting all hoo hoo, and then the older version of themselves, which by the way, her still fitting in her wedding dress is pretty freaking awesome if you ask me. This picture hits home for me and is super cute. It's a grandpa and his little girl. My grandpa recently passed away and this resonates with me so well because man, I love my grandpa. And this picture just shows you time, it goes by really fast. So cherish those moments. And as you can see, this grandpa is loving both of these moments as she is as well. Like I said, guys, love really does conquer all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Click here. Bye.